fifth day of Christmas my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. What to do in one breath? Hey everyone, it's Lacey here at Shady Tree Stitches, and I am Sans the Jenny today because she is at her Scout Christmas party. So you've just got me, but I'm in the Christmas spirit. Wishing you all a Merry Stitchmas. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining me. This is the 12 Days of Flossmas, day five by the Shady Tree Stitchers. So, what have I been stitching? Well, I did a fair bit more on my Alpha Mavet sampler by Drawn Thread, and you can see that I have totally finished W, V, and X. Or not quite double, not totally, I've got to finish a little bit up here in V. But W is totally finished and X is totally finished. So it's on track for getting a finish by the end of next week. Super excited with that. And you will recall yesterday we drew the world map um, from Disney. And I am starting down in this corner down there. Now... I am stitching this on 14 count because I wanted gridded and I struggled to find gridded that was going to be big enough. So this is where I'm up to on my 14 count. There's my 200 stitches to start it off. And seriously, people, this piece of fabric is huge. It's as big as a double bed. So it's going to take a long, long time to stitch. But hey, at least I know the quality will be good. So, I had a great day today. Um, I went down to JK Stitching, which is my local LNS, and I was working with her on her website. And she has decided to let me help her by um, being her shop manager. So I now get to um, check out all the goodies before everyone else does, put them up on the website. So I'm really excited to have that job. So thank you so much, Janet, for giving me the opportunity, um, which means that there is actually my last lot of Pag Lane Designs fabric that I took down to her um, about a month or so ago is now up on the site. So if you've been looking for some 18 count or 16 count, um, no, sorry, not 18 count, 14 or 16 count Ada or 32 count even weave, I have stocked them back up. So there's plenty there on JK's crossstitching.com.au um, for Australian and New Zealand customers only at the moment. But she did also give me some stitchy kindness. And she gave me two things that are really lovely. Firstly, I got this, which is called a mini stitch and store. And it's a place where you put your scissors and your stuff and you just chuck it in these holes. They're sort of bendable. And it's by It's So Emma. So it's really cool. I'm looking forward to having that next to, next to me on my stitching spot. And the second bit of stitching kindness was incredibly generous. I got a bag. It's by Juju Designs. This is one of Juju's Designs bags that she sells through JK's. Look at those kitty cats. Aren't they just darling? So colourful. I think my favourite one's the little green one there, just smiling with a love heart. So what I like about these is that they have a handle. They open with Velcro. And there's two pockets. We've got a big pocket there and also a really cool lined zipper pocket. So this one is designed to be able to fit an 11 by 11 Q-snap. But wait, that's not all. It comes with a Notions bag that matches and a crumb guide cover. So that was a really cool Christmas present. Um, I'm going to look forward to using that for something also is a bigger one um, that is you know, same width but longer down to about there 
to fit the 17 by 11 and I really am tempted to think about getting some of them because then I can keep oh, keep my pieces set up in the um, 17 by 11 Q snaps. I'm not even sure where I've got my 17 11s by the moment but that's okay we'll work that out. All right so the next thing we do is we open up the silks for you advent calendar today is day five so cute with those little owls and the beautiful christmas wrapping the girls did a great great job so i will open it up you have to wait till tomorrow to see what shani got and another one of their beautiful bags and um this theme that we're picking is continuing the colors this is beautiful we have got a beautiful floss drop with an egg or a peacock a whole peacock on the bottom look at that isn't that just gorgeous stunning really good quality nice and solid for a zip pull or a um, scissor fob so that is awesome thanks very very cute and look at the cute bag today it's got a butterfly on it super super cute well that's day five five days out of 12. oh my goodness so tomorrow well tomorrow's saturday my time and it's friday night in american time so i am actually starting two pieces tomorrow because i have just over just over 18 to do and the first one I'm going to start is um, a stitch along with a bunch of my friends in America. And it's the, um, the gnome cell. So these cute gnomes were de designed by Iwana. And there's one for each month. And I am actually going to start with my birthday month, which is June. Isn't he a beautiful, colourful gnome? So looking forward to starting him tomorrow. Getting 200 stitches, I'm guessing, on his nose. Um, and then he'll become like my January one because I'm going to change the seasons around to suit Australia because who wants snow in summer? Just before it leaked up, I think it said it was going to be 36 degrees here tomorrow. Stinking hot. And the second piece that I'm going to start in the evening is Cross Stitch Nation, the Heartstring Samplery. And we are doing this, the Shady Trees Retreat Girls are doing this as a stitch along. And each one of the people is one of us. So going from the blonde lady on this side, we've got Michelle, who you've met in videos before. That's me. This is Rachel. That's Sue. That's Natalie. That's Gigi. And I've forgotten someone. Have I forgotten? They're trying to kill me. Huh. Jenny. <laughs> okay. So I forgot Jenny. Well, maybe I got them the wrong way around. Jenny might be the tall one in the middle. And the one on the end might be Natalie. But anyway, either way, that's where they are. So we are doing this all in our own colours. I'm going to use the... um cottage garden threads that I've got. I bought a nude pack, so I don't know what colors they are. So I'm gonna use them for the clothes. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to starting that too. I'm guessing I'm gonna be starting with Sue, but that's okay. Maybe I'll start at the top. I might start at the top with the boring border. What do you reckon? I know if I'll see any answers before I start it. So there's not really much point in asking you. All right. So that's my plans for tomorrow, people. I wish you a lovely day of stitching. Um, if you're in no new starts and you want to find out about the, the yearly travel event, it does kick off officially tomorrow. We have a launch party live on the no new start Zoom. And we will also um, be able to start stitching for our ride and things then. So yay, pretty exciting. All right, guys. Well, I will look forward to catching up with you, hopefully back with Jenny tomorrow night. Bye.